Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com iOS Today time. Hello, Megan Maroney. Hello, Leo Laporte. Did you have a wonderful Christmas? Uh, it was amazing. I got everything I wanted. Me too. Nobody fought at all. No. It was essentially perfect. In other words, we're imagining what Christmas <laughs> will be like because this is recorded ahead of time. Yes, we're taking so. the week off, as are all the shows on Twitter. But we thought, as are all the shows on Twitter, we would do a best of mm -hmm. clip show. I remember when I was a kid, you know, I, maybe they still do it. Clip shows where they, I don't know, they got lazy one week like we are mm -hmm. and took stuff from the previous show and they'd sit around on a couch and you know barney miller would say oh remember that time fish mm -hmm. came to work and he mm -hmm. smelled like fish <laughs> watch and you know that's fun yeah i always hated those i uh, but really? yet we're doing this because <laughs> i think too bad. <laughs> we're more of a medium because you know we 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 chat a lot i'm a and large there's... you might be a medium <laughs> thanks there's moments of perfection and i went through all of them and i found them <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's start off with the biggest story of the year, right? Mm -hmm. The FBI. We uh, at, Right off the bat, Boom. Apple said, no, we're not going to turn over that phone, et cetera, et cetera. You did a pretty good job of explaining it. Let's take a look. Watch. This was a cell phone that uh, the gentleman, I won't call him a gentleman, that the man had that was provided by his employer, the San Bernardino County Health Department. It was an iPhone 5C. It had been updated to the most recent uh, software, and what, one thing we don't know is if it was a four, but it was apparently locked. We don't know if it was a four character or the more modern, what is it, six, six. characters now? Mm -hmm. uh, six characters would be a lot harder to break. The FBI has this phone. Uh, one of the first things they did is they tried to get into the backups because it turns out they also probably had his Macintosh, whether it was at work or at home or his Windows PC, and that the phone had been backed up. So the first thing they did is try to get in his backups. They didn't know his iCloud password. So they had his employer change the iCloud password. Wish they hadn't. Mm -hmm. Because as Apple pointed out, if you'd called us earlier, we could have told you, leave the password, bring the phone to a Wi-Fi access point that the phone's already attached to. And as you know, if you have Wi-Fi backups turned on, it will start backing up. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a recent backup. Without the passcode, without entering the passcode. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, that data may be encrypted or maybe not. You know, when you do the backup, you have a choice. Mm -hmm. Always check encrypted because then it'll back up passwords and other stuff. It'll back up everything. It won't back up passwords if you don't check it. We do, they don't, I don't know, and I don't think the FBI knew whether that backup was encrypted or not. When they did get the password changed, they were able to log in. Lo and behold, the last backup was six weeks ago. So they didn't have any current information. Six weeks on from, that. it was October. So yeah. six weeks from then, not yeah. six weeks ago. Prior to now. the shooting incident. Yeah. So uh, they said, oh, crud, we want to get on the phone now. He's got a passcode on it. Now, as you know, if you, you can set it, you don't have to, but you can set it that if you enter the passcode incorrectly 10 times, the phone can be erased. They don't know if the shooter had done that they don't know they don't want to take a chance there's also a delay introduced a five second delay between passcode guesses now if he had a four digit passcode that's 10,000 possibilities uh, and so in theory if they could get it to happen faster and they could go d stop it from deleting itself they could create a machine that would just try passcode after passcode and then unlock it that's what they petitioned Apple to do and the court ordered Apple to do is to modify the firmware on the 5C so that the FBI, they, they didn't ask Apple to decrypt the phone. They didn't ask Apple to give them the contents of the phone. They didn't even offer the phone to Apple. They said, this is all we want you to do. We want you to write new firmware for an iPhone, sign it, because it won't install on an iPhone unless you sign it with Apple's super secret signing key, and install it on the phone. And this is what we want that new firmware to do. A, disable the erase function, and B, speed up the login so that we can then, and then C, give us either via Wi-Fi or via Bluetooth some way to tap the passcodes over and over and over again until we get one that lets them in. Uh, now, Apple has five days, actually, they now have seven, I think, to respond to the 26th to respond. We don't know what Apple's response will be, but we suspect we know because Tim Cook immediately published an open letter at apple.com saying, we don't want to do it. This is the wrong thing to do. 
Everybody needs strong encryption, and by us doing this, we would undermine that. And we wouldn't just undermine it for this one case, and this is up for debate. We wouldn't just undermine it for this one case. We would undermine it for all iPhones going forward. We don't, it's now, the F, now this is very important. FBI is not asking for a back door. They're just asking them to put some modified code on that particular iPhone. But the fear is that the technique, the code, uh, will be now uh, owned by the FBI and maybe others can get a hold of it. And at that point, you've lost kind of the, one of the crown jewels of Apple's privacy policies, which is that all iPhones ever since iOS 8, yours and mine and yours, and that 5C since iOS 8 are encrypted. And even Apple can't decrypt them, by the way. Even if they gave the phone to Apple and Apple tore out the hard drive and they couldn't decrypt it because it's encrypted with strong encryption, the only way to get the data on that phone is to figure out what the passcode is without getting the phone erased. Apple doesn't want to put that tool in the FBI's hands. The FBI says you have to. And they went to court and the court agreed. Apple will, I think, likely um, appeal. But the thing that you need to know is Apple, it's a couple of things we learned from this. By the way, Apple asked the FBI to do this in secret. They said, seal this order, and the FBI didn't. Uh, I think the FBI is looking to get a precedent. They'd like to do this more often. And one of the things that already has been established is that Apple has the, the capability to do this. Mm -hmm. Who knew, right, uh, that they could put modified software on that phone? How do they do it without having the passcode? Uh, prob well, that's a, that's a really interesting question. I don't know. Apple knows. And... Uh, Apple didn't say we can't do it. And I think that would have been, had that been the case, that would have been their response. Guys, that's why we put out iOS 8. We didn't want to be in this business. We can't do it. They didn't say that, which means they can. Yeah. Uh, whether it's connecting it to a, a computer that's specially configured and the phone then push, there must be some way to push firmware. If you think about it, it seems like a, techno a technique that Apple would have for repair purposes. This goes to the, uh, and we'll probably get to this next, the error 53 problem, because mm -hmm. Apple has a fix for that as well. Yeah. So remember, and this is related, that uh, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. I think we did. The error 53? Yeah, did we? your iPhone? I, yeah. If, we if you bring your about, iPhone, if you break can. your screen or break your fingerprint reader and you bring your iPhone to a third-party repair and they replace the screen and or fingerprint reader, what may happen in the process is that the special pairing between your fingerprint reader and some hardware on your phone called the Secure Enclave will be broken. Now, if you bring it to an Apple store, they'll restore it. And in fact, if they can't restore it, they'll give you a new iPhone. Because Apple really feels very strongly that once the fingerprint reader has been compromised, your phone has been compromised. You don't know if somebody's put something bad on there. You can't tell. Maybe it's reading your fingerprint. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's bypassing other security. So, they put a check in there that if the fingerprint reader and the screen and the secure enclave were unpaired, that there it would throw up an error. It turns out it threw up, threw up an error, error 53, that only showed up when you updated the phone. When you update the phone, error 53, your phone is bricked. You can't use it. Might as well throw it away. Well, and I hope you didn't, <laughs> because it's gone. Uh, well, it turns out Apple's now pushed out a new iOS 9.2.1 that they can in their store, or you can actually, connect your phone up to your iTunes. You have to do it physically with a USB cable. Uh, it will push to your phone and it will unbrick it. It'll restart your phone and it'll be fine. You'll lose the fingerprint functionality as you should because that's the point of all of this. They said that we apologize, we never intended to brick people's phones. This was an internal testing code that leaked out. So, but that goes back again to this FBI story because that shows that they can, even on a phone that's brick, push new firmware into it. Uh, now, this is fixed firmware. Uh, the phone is set up in such a way that unless it's signed by Apple's super secret cryptographic key, it won't run. That's for your safety also. That keeps a bad guy from doing the same thing. And they keep that key, we presume, under lock and key at the Apple headquarters, and probably only a couple of engineers have access to it. It might even require Tim Cook's presence uh, because the, they only have to sign the firmware when they update it. They don't do it all the time. So uh, the FBI is asking them to do that, to put out signed firmware that's kind of malware, and Apple doesn't want to do it. So that's a very interesting case. 
uh, I guess what we've learned from this is that, in fact, Apple could, if they wanted to, make malicious firmware. They had, they, we trust that they won't do that. Uh, that the encryption is still good on your phone. If you have iOS 8 or 9 on here, you're fine. It's encrypted. No one can get it, not even Apple. But there is a way that Apple could perhaps unlock your phone. Mm -hmm. um, now, what they didn't say is the fingerprint reader. The 5C doesn't have a fingerprint reader. Right. It may be that Apple can't bypass the fingerprint reader. We don't know. Uh, Apple's not saying. It is really interesting. I mean, I uh, have been thinking about this a lot. Okay, we talk on this show all about like all the different apps and everything that you can do with your phone and all the pictures and all your personal life, your, our lives are on True. this phone. True. So the government still doesn't have the ability to open up what's in here. Sh do you think they should have the ability to open up what's in here? Because it, you know, it's, it's an extension of right. us. Yeah, the government cannot force you to give up a password, for instance. Mm -hmm. Courts have ruled that. But right. they can force you to give up uh, hair, blood, Boy, fingerprint. fingerprint. DNA, um, that's not uh, considered to be self-incriminating. Mm -hmm. So this physical thing, yes, mm -hmm. they can. But the encryption, can they force you to give a passcode? No. Can they force you to do a fingerprint? Yes. So it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling the Supreme Court's going to end up ruling on this. The fact that everything is on here, well, I don't know. I mean. You might have written everything in your diary at home, right? Mm -hmm. But if they have a search warrant uh, that includes specifically that diary, the, the Constitution says and courts agree and the law says they can go in and get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that silly FBI. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, the other big story of the year was uh, Apple's deciding not to put a headphone jack in their iPhone. I'm tapping my pocket like I have it here. <laughs> in the iPhone uh, 7. And I, fr I would like to watch this because I can't remember what our reaction was. Mm -hmm. The biggest change um, to the new uh, iPhone, they took out the headphone jack. Definitely no headphone jack. Lose the headphone jack. And because there's no headphone jack, it's thinner, it's lighter, and we can put more battery. They're taking out the headphone jack. That antiquated piece mm -hmm. of history it's... called the headphone jack. Do you think there will be lines? For this no. headphone jack lines in lift. years. Now, you've heard all the benefits, but the disadvantages are also obvious. You mm -hmm. can't charge and listen at the same time without an additional dongle. Apple doesn't sell one. Belkin is for 40 bucks. It's ugly. It's big. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> if your car has an aux jack, but not a lightning port, you'll no longer be able to use that auxiliary jack to listen to your music. Some people are not going to like that. If you spend a lot of money on headphones, you're going to have to get an adapter. Now, the good news is Apple's going to bundle lightning, wired lightning headphones in the box and the headphone adapter that takes a regular headphone jack and adapts it for uh, the new lightning port. And those are only $9. And that was a real relief to me. In the past, Apple's charged a lot for connectors like this, 30 bucks for the old 30-pin to lightning connector. Um, $9 means... And you should probably prepare for this. Buy five or ten. You know, add an extra forty-five to ninety dollars to your budget, and buy a bunch of these. And if you connect them to all the headphones, then your headphones are lightning good. Dumb hole. You don't need it. Dumb hole. You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, courage. <laughs> Courage. I like it. Yeah. Also this year, when we got our phones without the headphone jack, uh, we of course had to spend a lot of time talking about dongles. You were the queen of dongles. I remember your craft project. I ordered a lot of these. Are those dongles? <laughs> these are you dongles. got a pocket full of dongles? I got a pocket full of dongles. Uh, high speed USB and power dongle. They're like nine bucks. USB camera dongle. So, so I think, yeah, some people are confused by this, because especially because the lightning headphones are connected to the dongle, which implies you'll need the dongle for these, but you don't. <laughs> Here is the SD card reader dongle. You get one with a phone. I'm going to have to go, go get another one of these. Yeah, the packaging on that is strange because that little dongle is kind of just hidden away in there. And like the first time you take it out, it's like, what? What's happening? This is the, the dongle box. <laughs> in all honesty, um, it really surprised me when Apple said that they were going to include that dongle. Uh, it's a very kind of un-Apple move because they're kind of admitting that the phone isn't 100% ready to, to drop the headphone jack yet, right? By including the dongle, it's a kind of an admission of the fact that you might actually need this. This is the travel edition of the dongle box. I bought, I bought four of these. Last week I promised I would make a dongle holder. 
um, <laughs> so that you wouldn't lose your dongle or leave it places. Um, I actually have left my dongle in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> and so I don't have it right now. So uh, you don't have a dongle, but I no, happen to I have... No, I have no idea where my dongle is. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need a dongle. Holder. Yes. No, I... Uh, so I keep my dongle on my headphones, but... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, good. Here it okay. is. Shoo. I have, so this is the, these are my headphones. I don't use the Apple headphones. I use these nice Edemotic headphones. I really like them. And I wasn't, didn't want to give them up. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't need a dongle. But the dongles, if you want to use the traditional uh, mini jacks. And then I have a little in, in pouch that holds my headphones and then a little partition in the pouch. So I keep my dongle in there. All right. So there you so go. So here's what you need. First, you need a, your dongle. These are the headphone to lightning Jack dongles. And then you're going to need like a keychain ring, like oh. so, oh. you know. Oh. Okay. Oh. And then you're going to need a, a pair of headphones that you want to destroy. Do you want to destroy your etymotics? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. Why destroy? Because you're going to cut off this part. You're going to use the male part and you're going to snip You're going to cut it. off you're the male part? You've been wanting to do that for a long time. <laughs> you're going to snip the male part. This is a little Freudian. So what? I'm no, not, don't, I'm not I using don't your etymotics. I don't recommend this. These are, look at these headphones. No one's going to use these headphones. Okay. Move them over they're a little garbage. bit because they're uh, a little obscured by they're, your They're garbage head. headphones. Okay. No one's going to use these. Okay. Everybody has garbage headphones. So these are headphones you're not going to use. Right. And then you're going to need Sugru, which I got this at Target. It was like about $10. Sugru is like putty, right? Yeah. Okay. But then it stays in place. It stay Does it harden? It hardens after okay. a while. Yes. So that's, that's all you need. They call it mold moldable glue. Moldable glue. So take some headphones that you don't mind losing. Right. And then you're going to snip off the male part. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right at the top there. Very yeah, tight. Yeah. Okay. Right. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. I snipped off the male part. I really like. I don't to know say why my mouth is dry. I, I, it really kind of bothers me slightly. Okay. Uh, and you know what? This is these aren't probably the best. I mean, here, here are these that I was going you to could use. Use your old your Apple old headphones. Apple headphones. That would be a cleaner snip, I think, right okay. there. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then let's get out the Sugru. Do you want your dongle holder to be red, yellow, or blue? Because the Sugru came with three different colors. Um, I like red. Okay. Let's do red. Okay. This is kind of cool stuff. What do people use this for? Um, well, Burke use Burke's the one who gave me the idea of, of it in the oh, first place. Oh, you could use it to it? reinforce cables. Yeah. Is that what you'd use it for? One of the things. Mm -hmm. Stop doors from banging or protect furniture. Although, oddly, the protect furniture picture is of a teapot. Mm. So, protect furniture. Oh, I guess from the teapot. They'd make a little ugly little <laughs> sugru. <laughs> Teapot uh, holder. Did I mention that I found this on CNET? This wasn't my original idea. I should give them credit. Okay. Um, so from the time you open the pack of Sugar, you have approximately 30 minutes before it starts to set. Oh, okay. So mold it around the housing. So, you know, actually, this does, this isn't clean, but that doesn't really matter. You're no, going to just mold Sugar's it. No, because the going to obscure it. Yeah, you're going to mold it, make it pretty. Right here. There you go. There, mold it into that, that shape. You could probably, like, I don't know, make it into whatever shape you wanted to make it into. <clears throat> you don't want fingerprints on it? If you don't, you have to smooth it out. Oh, yeah, because fingerprints okay. will stay. Uh, yeah. Burke is a Sugru expert. <laughs> wow. And I kind of now think I could think of, I'm thinking then, of some Sugru projects I could do. Uh-oh, where's my thing? Okay, and then you... you put a keychain in it. Yeah, so what's the... I guess I mold it around the keychain, right? Yeah, Yeah, right. mold make it the, right... Uh -oh, make the, or you can put the keychain through it, but I think that's better. Yeah, yeah. mold do it, it like around that. the keychain. Yeah. So you've made a little, oh, yeah. I get where you're going with this. And then. So now you have the headphone jack. Right. Oh, wait. Don't, on a keychain. Yeah. Chain. Don't cover the part where you need to put the keys on. Right. right? Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah. Actually, you, uh, and rotate the keychain a little bit because you want it to rotate still so you can. Move it. Move it around. You're going to put this on your keychain? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. So then. Oh, this is great. And then the dongle, dongle goes on there. Yeah. But it's available at any time. Right. Oh, I'm doing your keychain. Here you go. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, wow. that looks like it's designed by Apple. Wow. It does. Yeah. Look, where Johnny Ive is right now <laughs> spinning in his grave. You should give that to Burke and have him shape it because, and then. No, I'll be doing it for the rest of the show. Okay, good. It's soothing, yeah. right? It's very soothing. It's very pleasant. So, yeah. Now, don't say we didn't do any um, projects on here. That's kind of neat. You might want to wash your hands. Like, this is my hands are going to stick together. Oh. I still, by the way, I did that Sugru thing to my headphones. And, oh, no, I did it. Uh, you did it to the uh, keychain, but I did it to yeah. my headphones. And now I have uh, I have headphone 
this mistake. It was a mistake. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And you know, Sugru, that stuff really uh, it dries. It's hard to get off. Yeah, so, it's not play doh. It's serious. Word to the wise. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had a new baby this year. We did the baby pro. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> I was excited about the uh, the the. I'm calling it the iPad Pro Junior. Uh, baby Pro, we've been calling it <laughs> or baby, baby Pro, baby pro. Um, because I think the iPad Pro is a little too big for me to carry around. This fits just like any iPad in my backpack. I've got a little slot for iPads. Um, it has a little baby keyboard. Yeah. You know what? It's complete. As far as I'm concerned, for what I do, I wouldn't want to write War and Peace on it. But for what I do, it's adequate. I think it's. I think it's really good. It's I, surprisingly good. I was shocked because I was very skeptical about the idea of a scaled down keyboard. They've mostly scaled down the extra keys that are not the alphanumeric keys, like the return key is really narrow, but uh, they've tried to minimize how much they've shrunken the alphanumeric keys, and I found it really quite typable, surprisingly typable. And because the surface area of the 9.7 inch screen is so much less than the 12.9 inch screen, the bulk on that as a cover is a lot less. That's what I don't like about the, right. the big cover is it's heavy. And that one's super and light. And the Logitech even worse. In fact, even I worse. got the Logitech Create, and it was like heavier than my MacBook. I thought, well, I'm not going to use this anymore. But this is relatively compact, and yeah. I, I have, uh, you know, I, I carry around a, you know, this this is the Duluth Trading Company travel bag, but it fits beautifully yeah. in there, and it's easy to carry around, and it's not very heavy. And most so, people, this is the iPad that they're going to want, not yeah. the big, not the big Pro. Yeah, and it still uses a pencil. It does all the things that the. By the way, the sound is fantastic. It's pretty good. Uh, four speakers, yeah. Now, is it using all four speakers, or is it only using two at a time? It uses all four speakers, and okay. what they do when you're in a horizontal orientation, so you've got stereo left and right, and then it puts the higher frequencies on the upper speakers and the lower frequencies on the lower speakers. Yeah. And the idea there is you get a little more dynamic range because those speakers don't have to reproduce all of the frequencies. So I'm going to take out our jack so I don't hear it directly, but let me... Uh, let me turn it up so play it out of the speakers. Um, this is totally fair use, too. Uh, yeah, this is fair use. I don't... But that's filling the room. I mean, that has... La and the bass is decent. I mean, again, it's not... You know what it's really good for? Audiobooks are great. I, yeah. I've been now listening to audiobooks, and instead of porting it out over to my Sonos or some speakers, I actually just have the iPad in front of me and listen to it. Now, I noticed the battery seems not... Maybe this is mine to deplete rapidly. I found that they're still shooting for that ten, that, you know, that ten-hour battery thing. Although, again, if you've got the smart keyboard attached and are using it, is it draining it when it's just sitting it's, there? Well, I don't know if it's draining it when it's sitting there, but it is being powered by your iPad's battery. I feel so like the battery, even when I'm not using it, like I unplugged it at 100% this morning, it's already at 74%, and mm -hmm. I haven't used it today. Well, that's so not good. there's something. Maybe it's an app I've got on it's here. It's possible. I'll have to investigate because they're trying to make it uh, pretty power efficient, like. Um, even when, when there's not a lot going on on screen, it actually cycles down the refresh rate. Because normally wow. all iPads are at uh, 60 frames per second. Which but is this high. one will yeah. will back off to 30 frames a second if there's yeah. not a lot going on. So And that's all just to save battery, to save uh, on the video processing power. One of the reasons the speakers sound good on the big iPad Pro is they have a kind of a speaker chamber. There's enough room inside that right. thing. They probably aren't doing this on the... Probably not so much, baby. and it doesn't sound as good as the as the big yeah. one. But it sounds way better than say the iPad. Any other Air. iPad? Yeah. yeah. With the uh, iPad Pro? Yeah, that was this year. That was this the year. The little baby Pro. That was this year. Gosh, I can't believe that was this year. Mm -hmm. And I st I love my iPad, uh, the smaller iPad Pro. That's my uh, go to iPad. I use it uh, every week on this show, and I like the keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really I, that's my that's my go to iPad. But it got even better this year. You know why? Why? iOS 10. Mm -hmm. Watch. The new iOS 10 is so great. Even if you have an older iPhone or iPad, uh, you're going to get some lots of new features. Some of the features we're going to show you today require an iPhone 6S or later because you have to use 3D Touch. But there's some really great hidden stuff in there. Mm -hmm. There really is. So uh, should we get right to it? Yeah. Okay, we each have five. You have some extras. Though. I sent you extras because I felt guilty about some of them because I've shown them before. Uh, okay, well, this first one is how you can respond to earlier messages in a conversation. If you've ever been in an iMessage conversation and you ask someone a question and then they, you know, are asking you a question at the same time and you know then you get really confused you know because you someone's answering a question that happened way earlier so this way you can respond earlier 
to earlier text messages. So that's really kind of an interesting idea. I like it. Yes. Yeah, so you have a limited responses though, right? You yeah, you can thumbs up, you can thumbs down. Let's see. We have this whole big thread here and we didn't really actually say anything to each other. We just We just sent emojis and stickers. Um, and let's see if I can respond to stickers with a Yeah, I can. So you can show my um, screen. Uh, so here, uh, Leo, before he sent me this pup emoji, and I and I thought that was so cute, but all these rest of these things he sent me, I didn't think were so cute. For example, I don't want to say, oh, so cute to That's that that he sent me. Um, but my head, not my body. I wanted to specifically say that uh, I liked this. So I long pressed it, and then I give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a heart because I love that pup emoji Aww. so much. Now, if you do that, can I then, does that lock me out? Can I do... Uh, puppy, uh, so you did the Z, 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 Z. I mean, can I do and add another? Is How long can this go on, in other words? Um, I, I don't see know. Your heart. That. I see your heart. Okay, can you? Long press. Yeah. I can do ha ha. Now, is that going to add? Oh, no. It's on top of your heart. Yes. That's kind of mean. And then, of course, our iPhone 7s. We got them. We played with them. We had fights. We didn't agree. She's a little bit mad. I'm a little bit glossy. I've already gotten to talk about my Matt, my friend Matt <clears throat> here. Um, well, I noticed you're a little bit Matt, and I'm a little bit jet black. I really love the jet black. This is the iPhone. We both have the iPhone 7, uh, and, and I see both have the pluses. Um, and these are the two new colors uh, that they came out with. Um, I love the jet black. Renee Ritchie doesn't put a case on it. I do. So that's accessory number one. I presume you have a case. I have the I have the leather case from Apple. Oh, that's pretty. Um, it is. It got it's it's well you can't really tell, but it's a little bit scratched, weathered, as we say. Well, better that be weathered than the phone be weathered, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah so because I really wanted a blue iPhone, I believed in the rumors that we were going to get a blue one. So I got, <laughs> so you got I, the blue. Leather. I got the case. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, because I have the shiny piano black iPhone, I I don't want a case to hide. Um, I do feel like I need to carry a case, not just for micro abrasions, but anytime you have a phone, if you drop it on a corner, you're going to get an ugly ding in there. And I, I just, it bothers me. So I got a clear case. Now, there are a lot of these. These are cheap. This is, I think, $9 or seven, eight, nine dollars They're very inexpensive. And I've ended up trying a lot of different manufacturers for the clear case. And this is the one I recommend. It's Ringke, R-I-N-G-K-E, $8.99. Or maybe it's $9.99 now. They went up a little bit on uh, on Amazon. And we got new watches this year, oh, the Series 2 watch. You got your sport watch. Mm -hmm. You talked me into that, the mm -hmm. rose gold. I did. Uh, and I got the uh, ceramic watch. I remember I was going on vacation, and the watch was going to come like two days into my vacation. I was so disappointed. And, and you texted me and said, it's here, can I open it? And I said, no, but you did anyway. <laughs> Uh, I also ordered an Apple Watch. Uh, well, Patrick got the new watch, Patrick Delahanty. I know. Did you? I didn't. Uh, You're happy with yours. No, I'm not happy with mine. I was just <laughs> waiting for someone else to offer you to pay for it. You wait for Uncle it. Leo to say. <laughs> I asked if he'd swam with it yet, and he said no. Here he is, um, and he said he was scared. And so then he offered to dip it in water for us. I said, no, you don't Ooh. have to do that. Um, but he said he needed pressure. So for us, for you, Ooh. he's going to put his brand new Series 2. And he didn't even have it. Is oh, that a good place for it. it? Patrick's doing it. He's putting it in water. And is your heart still beating? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So now do you, you, you should pro So how long do you think we need to put it in water for it to then squirt out? I love this. The speaker, when you're swimming and it gets water in it, then you get out of the pool, spits the water out. How many, how many watches do that? I know, that's awesome. Does it, how many makes a sound? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay. and maybe shake it around a little bit. So okay, like you're act like we're swimming. Do you have to yeah. have it on swim mode? Did you put it on swim mode? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we take it out? I think you're supposed to put it on swim mode. Okay, here. Unlock to view. I can't unlock it, so you have to unlock it to view. Everyone's <laughs> looking very intensely to see your passcode. Be careful. <laughs> Yeah, Conky says you should give me the ceramic watch you ordered. I already suggested that to him. I'm way ahead of you, I Conky. ordered the ceramic. This is, So Apple, without any fanfare, they didn't mention this, has discontinued the $10,000 gold Apple watch. Okay, should we try to squirt out the water again? Yeah, swipe up. Swipe up. Hit the drop. Hit the drop. My fingers are wet. Here, let me dry them off. <laughs> and then turn the Turn it. Digital... Oh, oh, it squirted out a little bit of water. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. 
It's you a tease, talked if about, you will. of course, and I've I'm now wearing it. Mm. My uh, my new uh, Apple Watch my Series Two. My new Apple Watch. And this oh, is uh, ceramic. <laughs> Um, it came with the world's worst band. Did you note that when you were... I noted that in playing? my review, that it looked dirty, um, like is, dirty. It's dirty. It looks like, oh, you have a nice white plastic band on your $1,200 watch, and it's dirty already. Get a new one, Leo. But I do use this when I work out because it's, it's rubber. So it's, you know, but then I, I did, I have to, I pulled a Rene Ritchie. I went out and bought all kinds of different bands. So this is the nylon, black and white nylon. I got a black and pink nylon. And uh, I like the leather, the soft leather bands. These What's are, that one called, that blue one? I can't remember oh. the name. It's the leather, uh, soft leather. Mm. It's weird. It's like a quilted leather, but it's really soft. It feels good. Um, you know, if you're going to have an Apple Watch, you might as well consider accessorizing it as Rene does. Uh, with a variety of bands. They're very easy to put on and take off. So mm -hmm. that's another accessory I got. And then it comes with, which is really nice, the, and I should have brought it in, I forgot, the magnetic base that flips up so that you can use it in nightstand mode. It actually comes with this watch along with the regular uh, a charger that comes with all Apple Watches, just the, the little quarter size charger. So I have two. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I thought that was good. I, yeah. I think so too. Uh, and that, I consider that case kind of a dock. So I, I have it here at work. So if I want to take off my watch and charge it, I can do that. So those are, yeah, some of the accessories for the new Apple stuff. Have you gone swimming in your watch yet? I have swum and spit. You want to hear it? Uh, have you heard it spit? Yeah, yes. Oh. But um, I mean, but well, I'm I not the only one you. watching this, so <laughs> someone else might not I don't want to bore you. But yeah, we might have stuck it in a cup of water while you were- My gone. watch? We might have. What the what? I'm now, I'm worried. All right, let me press the- uh, Button. So what happens, you press the water button, or during if you're doing a workout, you can turn it on during the workout. And um, then when you're done, you spin the dial. Let's see if I can do that here uh, to, to get it to, to spit out the water. Does it have to have water to spin? No. Turn digital crown to unlock and spin and eject water. Well, that's what I'm doing. Come on. Come on. Maybe I'm not turning it enough. Sorry, did I hit you? <laughs> I got to spit some water off now. Um, you know what? I remember Patrick also got the brand new watch and we used his. We did not use yours. I refuse to put yours in the water now. Now I'm recalling that I didn't. No, do it, so. don't lie. I know you did, but that's okay. I can I can live with it. It's fine. It's Well, it's waterproof, right? Right. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. And actually more for me, it's, uh, I guess if I were a swimmer, that would be important. Mm -hmm. But also that, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. You can work out. It can get sweaty, things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if it, the nice thing about the ceramic is it really doesn't show scratches, or at least it's not supposed to. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what a laugh riot. Uh, I tell you, those two, I love mm -hmm. iOS today. Mm -hmm. We also spent an inordinate amount of time. Way too much time. With our selfies. We yeah. filtered them. Yeah. We bitmojied yeah. ourselves. Yeah. We jib-jabbed. Danced around like little elves. <sighs> you, uh, we, you know, we, we bored you with it then, and we're going to bore you with it again. <laughs> Face swap live. Face swap live. Face swapping is a thing. It's the next big yeah. thing. It's fun. It's funny because, of course, uh, we're a little older than the Snapchat generation. Even you, who are a lot Even younger than me. me. So Here really... I am as a baby. Ah! Show that. Oh, my golly gosh. Uh, here I am with Hillary Clinton's face on my face. Oh, see, that looks like more like Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> and I asked my son, who's a big Snapchat user, he's 21, I said, how do you use it? He said, I said, there's no manual. How'd you figure out how to use it? It was, it was just obvious. I said, no, really, Henry. It was, well, people show you. <laughs> what the, what the heck is that? The face recognition that's built into Snapchat. You sent me this one. Hey, I'm driving here. I'm driving. Is really fun. And they change these all the time. See, we're seeing all these apps, Snapchat too, mm -hmm. that can recognize your face and superimpose stuff on your face. Mm -hmm. uh, like, as you can see, our technical director, Anthony Nielsen, is doing uh, putting a tiger <laughs> yes. on my head. Um, pretty pretty realistic looking, too, I might add. Uh, those, it uh, seems to be like that suddenly got under well understood or there was a library or something because everybody's doing it. Yeah, it's like hoverboards. They just all... Everybody's like, no doing patented. it. They all came out at once. And you know what? It's fun. I, I, that's, yeah. I use Snapchat just for that feature. Right, so Snapchat has a feature. And then there's an app called Masquerade. It's MS... QRD and Facebook just bought them. Facebook bought them. They bought the masquerade. Well, you know why? It's a really good app. MSQRD. Okay, so should we swap faces? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, how we do this? 
There's my face. You're wearing your shark. So do I have to get my face in the uh, yeah, donut? Yeah, in the hole. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. That is unsettling. So, uh, now you can take a look at that. To say the least. Um, there you, you go. You notice it kept the hats. The hats, yeah. The hat it make it, like, we're already weird. So it's not just, so I can do a lot. So I can be crying. You can see that, okay. This is kind of fun. I can make myself have big eyes. I see a lot of people using these now. <laughs> mm. I look like a keen pink. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Here, just Anthony, the Anthony swim. you should have used this. Oh, the shark one is good. Oh, wow, Leo, that was awesome. <laughs> Anthony was the joker. Uh -huh. Halloween, it sort of saved you a lot of time. This is just a lot more fun than um, you should have as an adult. What are I you think. talking about, Megan? <laughs> is this fun? Yeah. Uh. So um, the face swapping is very exciting. I think I have it's some more really examples. Good. I, of, it's, I feel like I could be in the next Planet of the Apes movie. You you probably could. I you think. damn dirty apes. Really, when the party gets slow, just take out your face swapping app, and <laughs> it gets exciting again. Hey, baby. That's what I always say. Like um, MSQRD is free, yeah. and. <laughs> If you need to do something while Leo's not paying attention, this is perfect app for that. Well, that's weird. Now I have a hat on my hat. <laughs> what the what? Here's where <laughs> Anthony and I switched. <laughs> this is very, you know what, this is just like Snapchat. Do you think mm -hmm. Facebook's gonna build this into Messenger? I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Maybe Instagram, who knows? Instagram seems like maybe the better Oh, Facebook fit. owns Instagram too. Yeah, ooh, that looks great. That looks uh, really good. Yeah, I yeah. think I need to go change my profile I'm picture. I'm a tiger in a tiger. I got a tiger in my tank. <laughs> Am I taking a picture? Are you taking a video or oh, a picture? Oh, yes, I'm taking a picture. And then you can easily tweet it out, which you should. Hmm. Uh, I think I, I... Oh, look, this is fun. It is. This is fun. I love it. Uh, hashtag MSQRD. Mm hmm Okay. You could take that out if you don't want to. Yeah. No, they ask you if you would like to, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wow. What was I? I was your little, I was your little shield or something. Hello. I am very gentle and kind. Yes, you are. Don't get me I angry, though. I wish you could though. wear that face around all the time. <sighs> <laughs> Do tigers have double chins? I don't think so. That's a good one. Did you try the um, the, the poop emoji? Ears? Sure. No. Who didn't? How about the one with the kiwi eyeballs? Kiwi eyeballs? Oh, like I'm at the health club? Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just getting a facial. It's my spa day. There's so much I love about this app, and nothing I don't like about this app. It's it is all good. great. I hope they do more. Yeah. Oh, sad. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's kind of sad. No, I think it's true. I used to be, but now I'm not. I was in Kiss. Hey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you want to swap faces I again? I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. Wow. Can you swap face and add those things? Oh, that's asking for a lot, don't you think? Yeah, no, let's not do that. These are great. And there's quite a few of these if you want to look like a movie uh. star. Back in my early days, I was uh, Captain See, Kangaroo. Now, here's the thing. Is that supposed to be somebody? No. Not? Just me. Just you with a mustache and a tiger hat? Does it look like me? I think it kind of looks like me. Yeah, you should definitely grow that mustache for I sure. I like it. Is it adding more than a mustache? That's what's confusing. The face swapping is very confusing to me. Because what's it really adding? Thank heaven for oh. little girls. Because little girls get bigger every day. Okay, I Is never thought we could That's get creepier than yeah. normal, but yeah, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best app ever. We don't even need to do... Oh, I'm sorry. We don't need to do app caps anymore. Oh, that's anymore. good. Yeah, yeah, it's just the new we'll filters. Just do the app filter. Mm -hmm. Why can't the TriCaster do this? I bet it can. 
That's good. This is nice. Mm -hmm. MSQRD, masquerade, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a funny one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm laughing. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Oh, my God. That was a craze, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Some people still play. I, Renee Ritchie was still playing when he came down to visit us uh, earlier this month. Um, it was the hit of the year. And, well, I had a little, I don't know, I had a, I had a problem. But I think the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Watch. All right. You know what <laughs> I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk I about know. the game of the century, folks. Pokemon Go. Now, it's really for an iPhone or an Android phone, and it is only for the U.S., Australia, and New Zealand. I'm sorry if you're living in some other country. Although I understand, thank you, iMore, that there are, you could put APKs on if you're an Android user from, and you're in another country, and it will work. Uh, but the servers have been just blasted. This app came out on Wednesday, July 6th, and it is, I don't, I care, this is bigger than Flappy Bird, it feels I like. I agree. I can't think of another app that has been so popular in a long, long time. Pokemon Go. Now, this comes from the company called Niantic. They created, so the, the founders of Niantic, and this is the interface, I'll show you a little bit. We're gonna give you a little primer how to play this game. The founders of Niantic actually came to Niantic from a company called Keyhole. Keyhole was a satellite mapping company. They did the satellite imagery, Google bought them and that's the satellite imagery in Google Maps. And uh, Google Earth. And Google Earth. And the, the Keyhole folks, I think, must have said to Google, that's all nice, but we, we have this idea. We want to make some apps based on this data. So first they did Field Trip, which I don't think was available on iOS, but it was a, kind of an interesting app. As you'd walk through a town, it would tell you when you walk by a point of interest. It, it would actually speak to you. Oh, on the left. That building was used for the Godfather 3. That's where the big shootout happened. And it was kind of fun. You would go, but it was also extremely annoying. And it didn't, I still, I think it's still around, but it didn't really take off. Uh, then they did Ingress, which was a cult game that involved you walking around in your town or wherever you were looking for, it was generally points of interest, and they would be hackable. You would do this, you'd, first you'd join a faction and then you'd do this hacking stuff and you'd take it over and then the other faction would try to take it back. And I always thought it was, a, it, first of all, it was kind of opaque, difficult to use and, and weird. People who got into it, like Father Robert, walked miles, miles doing this because they got so obsessed with it. Um, the other thing that worried me a little bit, you're standing in front of like the U.S. Post Office and it's saying, hacking the U.S. Post Office. Mm -hmm. and, it would, and you'd be doing your hacking and it looked like, frankly, you're going to get taken down if you keep doing that. So I always, I didn't do it. I got tired of it and I didn't do it. Well, back to the drawing board. They've done a partnership with the Pokemon Company, which makes, if you've never heard of it, and I don't know how you could not have, made the game of the 90s, or maybe it was the early 2000s. I think my kids was about 9 or 10. And it was a card game, and you would have different Pokemon creatures, hundreds of them. They all had different attributes. You could evolve them, power them up. You'd buy the cards and get the creature. And I remember we had to stop at 7-Eleven every time Henry saw 7-Eleven. He said, I need a card pack. And if you were lucky, you'd get a foil card that would have extra features. It was a fun game, kind of like Magic the Gathering mm -hmm. or lots of card games like this. Uh, then there were Pokemon games you could play on various video gaming systems. So they did a, a tie-in, basically taking Ingress, modifying it to be more like Pokemon, but it's essentially the same mechanics as Ingress. You walk a lot. The more you walk, the more Pokemon you're going to see. You capture the Pokemon you see. You train them up. Here's a, the video. Uh, you train them up, and uh, then you can do a few things. Uh, when you get home in the, in the leisure of your own home, you can take your Pokemon and evolve them. You can hatch more. Uh, and you can then go to a Pokemon gym, try to take it over, much the same way Ingress you would be taking over points of interest. Because it's mapping, it's got real maps uh, and real points of interest. There it is, that's a Pokemon gym. He's gonna have a Pokemon battle with whoever took over the gym previously. And if he's lucky, defeat them and his team, whether it's red, blue, or yellow, will become the default team. So let me show you a little bit. Now, one thing you, you probably will see a lot of, and it's been really bad this, uh, this last few days, is this. That means it can't reach the servers. So many people are playing this game that the servers are down a lot. One thing that sometimes helps, and I'll try this, is force closing the app and restarting it. 
You'll be using uh, either a login with Pokemon, and they actually had to slow down Pokemon signups because so many people were signing up, or your Google account. Now, one of the advantages of doing that is you can use this on your iPhone, on your iPad, your Android device, and it's the same account. See, I'm Chief Twit. I keep everything. I keep all the things in my backpack. So that's nice. Um, you know, but the disadvantage is that's you. That's it. And you don't get to change your name. You don't get to change your look. Sometimes I wish I could. Um, you're, that's it. And what you've got, you've got. Um, but that's all right. At least you get to take it with you. Now, I mentioned iPad. I don't know, but my guess would be that you cannot play this on an iPad that doesn't have LTE because you need the GPS to know where you are. You can see we are actually, this is the Twit Brick House. You can see it tells, it can tell I'm in it. Across the street from us is a point of interest. In this case, and again, the servers are down, so let's see if we can get this. In this case, it's a mural on the wall across the street. There it is, the Phoenix Theorem mural. If I spin it, uh, I can get a few items from it, usually Pokeballs, but sometimes some more premium items. And I just got four Pokeballs, but that's good. You need them because if any Pokemon show up, you're going to need those Pokemons to capture them. Now, you could tell if there are any Pokemons nearby with this bar down here. This shows what Pokemons are the nearest. With one paw print, they're almost in your vicinity. They may not be visible yet. That If they're visible, the paw print will disappear entirely. Three means they're as far away as they can be, but still be on your radar. I'm not sure what it means when I do that, except that maybe I'm keeping an eye peeled. So as I get closer, those paw prints will go down. There's a few other things you can do if you hit your Poke uh, ball. You'll see these are Pokemon I've collected over time. And you can sort these if you press CP in a variety of ways. The most useful are combat power. The more power, of course, the more likely you're going to win in one of those battles in a Pokemon gym. But another useful way is to sort it alphabetically. That's when you'll see you have duplicates. You do want to get rid of duplicates. You don't need but one of anything. And one of the reasons you, I mean, of course, you could keep duplicates, but one of the reasons you might want to get rid of the lowest combat point duplicate is because you can trade it in for one bit of candy. So I'm going to tra transfer this doo duo to the professor. No takesies, backsies. It's gone forever once you do. But I got a doo duo candy. And here's why you might want that. You use the candy to power up and evolve. I'm not yet to the point where I can evolve it. I need 50 candies to evolve it. My recommendation is not, of, not to power up until you fully evolve. As you evolve the character, it changes into a different character. So uh, it's, a, it's a good idea to read the Pokédex to see, these are all Pokémon I've seen or captured, and to see what they evolve into. One of the most highly valued is Pikachu. It can evolve into a variety of things, so it doesn't tell you what it's going to evolve into. But here's the Raticate. It was an evolution from a Rattata. So the idea was I traded in every, uh, all the Rattatas, kept one. Once I got enough Rattata candy, and each species has its own candy, I could evolve to Raticate. Raticate is the top, by the way. So what I could do now, if I have any extra candy, is power my Raticate up. Let's see if I have any uh, extra candy to do that with. Where's my... Oh, and I have an extra Rattata, so let's trade off the Rattata. Let's get rid of him. Don't need him anymore. And take some, get some extra Rattata candy. Oh, there's another one I can trade off. Let's get rid of all of these. So you'll capture a lot of duplicates, so it's a good idea. Yep. Now, I go to my Raticate. Uh, I've got 25 points of Rattata candy, so I can power him up. And you'll see he gets 20 extra combat points. The more points, the more likely you'll win. But there's other strategy involved. There's are different types of skills. You, if you're going to combat, you want to pick a Pokemon that's likely to win against the Pokemon you're playing. Eventually, I'll get rid of all these Zubats. It's a lot of fun. I wish I could show you the mechanics, but so you have to wait until a Pokemon shows up. There's one way you can kind of encourage, a couple of ways you can kind of encourage Pokemon to show up. You get items. Potions and Revive will heal Pokemons. Incense will attract Pokemons. So if I place this incense here right now, it's incense around me, and I get it for 30 minutes, and I can continue to move around. No one else will see the value of this, but this will attract Pokemon for me. There's another way. There we go. See, I got something. I got it. Looks like a Rattata. Let's let's tap him, and yeah, wild Rattata. Now this is kind of the fun part. This is the augmented reality. You can see I'm actually seeing him. The camera is turned on on the iPad, and I'm seeing him, kind of as if he were really here. 
it's as Robert Scoble has pointed out on our last show, not exactly auto, uh, augmented reality because I can move around and the Rattata goes with me. He's not actually in the space. Now let's try to capture him. Notice as I hold the Pokeball, that target narrows. Now, it's my understanding that it, oh, oh he got closer and he bit me. We're not detecting, uh, see, this is a problem with 10. You also have a problem with, you can play this out of AR mode, by the way. It's, it's, it's just not as much fun. Uh, I'm gonna throw it, boink. That was an easy one because it was really close by. Sometimes they escape, but I think I've caught him Ghostbuster style in my Pokeball. Oh, he oh, escaped! No. Oh, that rat tata. Oh, he's he not only escaped, he go he went away. I lost the chance to capture. That's enough on that. When you get to level five, you're not there yet. You'll have to choose a faction. Red, blue, or green, or yellow, I mean, and I am just a hint. Team Valor which is red. You want to go the same color as your friends. That way you can gang up and take over gyms. Thanks. Was that more information than anybody really wanted to know about Pokemon Go? Well, now you know. Everybody's going to be asking you, hey, tell me what a, what's the story about this Pokemon game? And now you don't even need to have played it. You just need to have heard Leo explain it. And, of course, there was a lot of silliness. Just plain silliness. That's because I like working with you so much, <laughs> Megan Maroney. You have warm toilet seats. We have... Uh, <laughs> you have a toilet seat warmer. I don't know what it is. All I know is it was warm. Something strange in your neighborhood. <laughs> Who are you going to phone up? So can I show you the, the uh, device? that measures a little more of what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Okay, it's called the Ohm Smart Bra. Well, yeah, as long as we're talking about Slack bots, uh, there's a toilet bot for Slack. Does the dog need to know what time it is? You might want to monitor the... An Apple Watch is so much more than just the time. You might want to monitor your dog's health. You might want... Your dog might want to check Twitter. You never know. You never know. And Tony is here to model it for us. Thank God. I was a little nervous at first. No, I'm not going to. Tony Wang that. is wearing in a, not only a hula skirt. Wow, that's uh, jazzy. And then there's comic books. Oh, my goodness. Comic books on a 12.9-inch screen. It's like I've, I've been reading comics since I was uh, since I was a teenager, and never have I read comics as beautiful as, as I'm reading this. If you happen to uh, work in an office space, where you oh. need to know when the toilet is available. You can ask? Um, it, so, okay, so I think we have a picture of the technology down there um, <laughs> on the tweet. Did you press any of the buttons? No, the I was scared of what would happen. I just sat down, I did what I needed to do, and then I was out of here. So that is a jazzy, brazzy ear. With, it does not, unfortunately, come with the skirt. Right, and if anyone needs to pinch and zoom and see the details, it's comic book fans, right? I mean, <laughs> you got to check to make sure everything's there and accurate so you can comment <laughs> and on it at Comic-Con. Excuse me, but uh, the ship Excelsior has forward atomic batteries. You have them pointing afterward. Riley, who is a viewer of our show, uh, sent us this video of what he does when no one's keeping him busy. Riley, and I found a really cool bug on Siri that you can use to prank your friends. Here it is. So steal your friend's iPhone and fire up Siri and then ask for this. From now on, call me a giant pile of... From now on, I'll call you. So click the tap to edit button and then go to the end of that sentence of what you just said. Click the space bar and then add an asterisk. <laughs> And uh -huh. then click done. Okay. From now on, I'll call... And then hit yes. Giant pile of... I like that. So what's <laughs> going on here is that when Siri sees an asterisk, she interprets it as a kind of frequency and not like the actual word asterisk. But the thing that I think uh, is our trademark on iOS today, and credit to uh, the founder of iOS today, the late uh, Sarah Lane... <laughs> No, she's not dead, is she? But it was Sarah's idea, which we frankly have never really explained fully, to do at the end of each show our picks of the week, our apps of the week. And uh, she thought we should honor those apps with caps, different hats. Well, thank you, Sarah. I now have several hundred hats in my office. And here are just a few. All right. Well, as long as we brought up politics, it's time for our app caps. We were, why do we wear hats? Because app caps are we, where we talk about our favorite apps of the week, and we wear funny hats that um, are appropriate to the app. And this um, is appropriate. I don't want to be sexist, but. <laughs> then don't be sexist. <laughs> All right, get your hat. 
And I think right. you have an appropriate hat, as do I. I. Actually, this was an appropriate hat. Yeah, we'll count it. It's app cap time, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Megan, why are you looking so stylish? Mm -hmm. so you're wearing uh, a, a, a pork pie hat. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait. <gasps> oh. I don't know if it's on right. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to put on my Charlie Daniels hat for this oh. one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put on my Crocodile Dundee hat. I think that's what this one is. What would <laughs> yeah, you I don't this know is, what that is. I think this is your regular hat you wear. <laughs> and wow. that's it. That when, was... when you put it all like that, it really seems like a lot, just a big waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love doing iOS today. I really love working with you. And it's so much fun to stay in touch with uh, what's going on. And, and, and it keeps me every week, you know, looking at apps, uh, using my watch, using the Apple TV. Um, and using the iPhone. And I'm really, uh, I hope you're getting something out of it uh, each week when you join us on iOS today. We'll be back in a week, next mm -hmm. Monday, uh, January 2nd, with all new apps, all new tips, all new picks. Uh, I hope you will come by and uh, join us. 11 a.m. I'm sorry, no, it's not 11. It was supposed to be at 11. It's and when we decided to. It's usually late. It. So it's more like 1 30 in the afternoon Pacific, 4 30 Eastern, 21 30 uh, UTC. But please do come by. Because uh, we love having you on iOS today. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy New Holidays. Year. Happy New Year. And see, to you too. See you in 2017.